Good morning. I've just taken my uh, dogs out for a walk. It's a beautiful day uh, in central Indiana. Going to get up into the low 80s today. There's a lot of things swirling around us in the news, and I have communicated to the pastors uh, of the district in a private page that we have, but I wanted to share a few verses uh, from the 34th Psalm. These are uncertain days. We're hearing uh, pronouncements from the federal government, the president of the United States, from the governors. Our state is in a different place than some of the other states are. People are weary, people are nervous. Well, what, what are we going to do? I, I just wanna orient ourselves with the uh, 34th Psalm. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Again, many of our, some of our churches are beginning the slow process of opening up here in the state. Our largest county is still not quite where some of the rest of us are. And so some of our churches are going to begin uh, opening with social distancing and some of those other things. Many of our congregations will not be in a place to do that until June. But whether you're online or in person or on the parking lot or in your home today, I think we need to get away from the place where we are gathering, where we worship the Lord, and understand that it is a matter of our heart. Let us exalt his name together. And yes, we can even do that on Facebook, in our homes, in the driveway and parking lot at the church facility. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all of my fears. One only has to do a cursory check of your social media feed to see fear. You'll see partisans on both sides of the political divide that act as though their party and their candidate is God's representative and the other side is evil, and that goes for everyone. I'm more inclined to listen to someone's political commentary if I hear them at times critique people on both sides of it, but this is not intended to be partisan. I'm wanting us to all unite around exalting his name together. He is helping us. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all of my fears. Social media is not going to deliver us from our fears. The evening news is not going to deliver us from our fears. The speeches from mayors and governors and federal officials in and of themselves are not going to deliver us from fear. It is the Lord who will deliver us from all of our fears. Whatever you're afraid of today, our answer is not found anywhere else. It's not found in your bank account. It's not found anywhere but the Lord. Those who look to him are radiant. I think those who are looking to their opinions and the opinions to others are anything less than radiant. They seem to be angry and, and just irritated all the time. And it says those people's faces are never covered with shame who look to the Lord. This poor person called and the Lord heard him. There's the great thing. Wherever you are, whatever fears you have, whatever the situation is in the part of the world where you live today, Call on the Lord. He's the only one that can save us out of our troubles. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Today, my refuge is in the Lord. Lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. I'm wondering over this um, time that we've been out of our usual schedules, if, if we would just realize that though we go weary and though we're tired of it and though there are fears and we wonder how we are going to make it, those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Doesn't mean he's going to give us everything we want, but we're not going to lack any good thing. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Let's get away from trying to do uh, nasty talk and who we can put down and who's to blame and let's get this one and get that one. As believers, we're to be the people that are to seek peace and pursue it. And unfortunately, oftentimes Christians seem at times to be some of the most angry people around. 
why don't we take a step back and let me use the made up word chillax. Maybe we need to get into the word and really begin seeking the Lord. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. I mean, there have been a lot of things that have happened in these past few weeks and now really months that have broken our hearts. The fact that so many of our young people were not able to have the traditional graduation. It's people that I, we all know have lost their jobs, been laid off. We've even know many people who are suffering from COVID-19 and many, thank God, are on the road to recovery. But right now, remember, it's the Lord who's close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in his spirit. Uh, a righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. I've been following the Lord for over 50 years, started as a little boy. I have had my degree of troubles, just like all of you have had. And when I was going through them, I thought this was the end. I would never make it. God, it's just all over. I'm not going to make it. And yet today, reflecting back over my life, I can give the testimony. The Lord has delivered me from every trouble. And I believe he's going to deliver all of us from this particular trouble that we're going through. Rather than getting caught up in the moment of what you're going through, why not take a few moments of reflection, look back over your life, and see the fact that God has always delivered you from your trouble. The last verse of Psalm 34 says, the Lord redeems his servant. No one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. What will make the difference coming through and getting out of the situation Lord? we're in is where are you making your home? Where are you taking refuge? If it's the news, governmental leaders, your own thoughts and philosophies, I'm not sure that's going to win the day. But I know this, I have seen it work in my life and the lives of countless others. Those who take refuge in the Lord always make it. My friend, God is for us. We're going to come through this. Let's keep our heads by filling our hearts with his love, opening ourselves to his grace and mercy. And I think one of the best ways to change what you're going through right now is why don't you take a couple of days to forget about what you're going through, seek out someone else, your family, your friend, whether you can do it by social distancing or have to do it electronically, reach out and seek to be an encouragement to someone else. What I have noticed when I take time to try to encourage others, I'm not quite sure what it does for them, but it always leaves me feeling more encouraged. I want you to know, my friends, God's for you. God loves you, and I love you, and we're going to be, get through this. Meditate today on the 34th Psalm, and have a great and blessed weekend.